not gonna complain, but 2021 was a bit much. So I escaped. Nothing spectacular. Just surfing and diving, being by myself with my wife. But I was wrong. Hi, I'm Hank, and I am a minimalistic living the eco way. Here to inspire you and giving you some tips along your journey. So we arrived in Fuerteventura and my thoughts were stony desert but not many people. Perfect to escape all this, you know what stuff. And be for myself and my wife. In that I wasn't wrong. So we took an Airbnb which was a good choice in the first place. So the plan was to take the bikes, bicycle the destination, which would be 40 to 60 kilometers a day, and surf or do at near. But before we started with those, we wanted to explore the city and enjoy nature. Fuerteventura was more than a stony desert. It was beautiful and tasty. By the time we started the Apnea course, I was so tired from bicycling, from bicycling because yeah, I do cycle 60 kilometers a day in Germany, but I almost estimated the ups and down ways in Fuerteventura, which were much more tiring. Then uh, I started the week with Apnea. And then one week later, surfing. And then we went south to see some whales, which we didn't have some success, but you can see it was still a good choice because we still had a good time. The way of Fuerteventura was slow, easy, without stress exact opposite of Germany. It was such a warm way of living that the days just flew by and our time was up there. And we left with hunger for more. Thank you if you've made it till the end. Big heart to you. Um, next week's video will be more about Fuerteventura. I will go deeper if why you shouldn't go, why you should go to Fuerteventura, what's good, what's bad, what's the scam. Um, so if you're interested in uh, traveling there and want to do apnea or surfing, make sure to tune next week in. And also if you haven't, please subscribe. I would very much like to welcome you in my community and see us all strive forward. See you next. Bye!